to Real Reality. I'm Mia Dene, and today I'm going to be interviewing a Haitian up and coming actor, John the Charles. So, thank you so much for sitting with me and letting me ask you a few questions. And so, do you kind of find it challenging um, being an actor in the city? Um, do you find it hard to like find those auditions and find those castings? Like, what, what do you kind of have to go through just to get an audition? I mean, you go through a lot. I mean, uh, you know, certain audition you have to have a, an agent, and certain audition you need a, an agent or a manager. So there's a certain website you can go on, like Actors Access or uh, Casting Networks. Mm -hmm. um, you put up your headshots on there and your resume, and you know, every day they have a list of casting calls and audition. You just submit yourself, apply. And, to get out uh, if they're interested in you. Once they're interested in you, you know, they'll give you a call back and and that's it. But a lot of time if you really want to get the, the big audition, you definitely need an agent. So I think the best thing to do is get yourself a manager and the manager will act like your agent and they'll try to get you as much work as possible and then from there they'll shop you around to agencies and then from there they get your agent. So, what would be the difference between a manager and an agent? The well, agent has like more contacts, or how does that work? Well, once you have a manager and an agent, the agent focuses on getting you work, getting you auditions, and the manager is there to tell you, you know what, you should take that audition. This would be a really good look for you, or you know, he or she will say, you know what, don't take that audition, don't do it because you know, maybe script sucks or it might mess up your career or whatnot. But in the beginning the manager acts as your agent and manager because you don't have an agent yet. What is your acting process when you get when you get a job or when you have an audition? What do you kinda of go through to get ready? Well, you know, when you get a you know a casting call or the audition, you know, there's two type of audition. They have something called cold read. A cold read is basically you don't get the side of the script, you know, mm -hmm. for you to go home and look it over. Basically, the script is there. It's just so on the spot. On the spot. So that's a cold read, and sometimes, you know, they do you get a script, so you get a day or two to go over it, you know, and you just have to make up your mind on the type of character you want to play for, you know, for whatever role um, you're looking for. And then once you make that decision, it's just going to, uh, to the audition room. Let it all out. All right, so John, why don't you tell me about um, a, a few of the projects you've already done? I know you told me about uh, being in the Picasso video with Jay Z. I know that was yeah, really a good experience. I had a little cameo in that one. It was, it was funny. The process. Uh, I got called in um, from this casting agency, and at first they didn't tell me who it was. So I went into audition, and the funny thing was, before like on my way to audition, actually bumped into Spike Lee. Oh, wow. And we just started, you know, chatting it up. And Spike's like, hey, you know, where you going? I'm like, I'm going to this audition. He's like, you're not going to be late. I'm like, look, man, you're Spike Lee. Forget this audition. <laughs> <laughs> he was just cracking up. But, um, and um, it's funny, and Spike was like, well, you know, it's probably a Jay-Z video. I'm like, I don't know, maybe. So I went in there, did my audition, and, you know, I ended up getting it. And, uh, so when I tweeted Spike, I was like, yo, you're right, you was for Jay-Z. Small world. Small world. So I went in there, did, you know, did my thing, did what I had to do, and, and next thing you know, I, mean, I had a little cameo in it, which was pretty dope. And being around Jay-Z, being around one of your favorite artists was, was one of the, I couldn't describe the experience. You know? I bet, just like feeding off of his energy. Oh yeah, definitely, you know, so. Um, Definitely do it again, so. We <laughs> <laughs> went. I did a music video um, slash promo for the movie Kick Ass 2. Um, it was with uh, DJ Diplo, and I actually play a superhero in that in that music video. I know, you had yeah, told me about that. I yeah. thought you were actually had a movie. Nah, 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 nah. I wish, I wish. I was so hyped. I was like, I'm about to go see that. I think oh, no, I'm about no, to go. No, no. So, 
I mean, you know, I'm definitely taking, you know, the steps, you know, that I need to take to get, you know, where I'm going. You know, you definitely got to be patient, you know, mm -hmm. like, you can get it tomorrow, you get it in three years, you get it in nine years. Mm -hmm. one, you know, one of the most important things I always say is to never give up. You know, if you have a dream, chase it. You know, you only live once in this world. That's, that's so true, because this industry can be so tough. Yeah. It could be, it could really break you down if you're not motivated and focused. Yeah, so. definitely. Yeah. Definitely be focused, be patient, and you know, make sure you have your, your true friends around you that keep you, you know, grounded, you know, mm -hmm. stay close to your family. And after that, you know, network around you, be all right. All right, so thank you so much. No problem. Real Reality really appreciates it. <laughs> Um, so you guys check out Jonathan Charles, uh, where you have Twitter. Oh yeah, well, my Twitter and Instagram is at jcharles underscore 83. And Facebook? Facebook, IMDB. Yeah, IMDB. You catch them on all those social <laughs> networks. Alright, so thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Alright, so we're out. Check you guys next time. Peace.